Hi everyone, so as you can see from the pictures, the greenhouse is up. So I'm going to give you a little tour. Now I've put the plant pot there so the children don't keep running around in a circle around the greenhouse. And I've had to leave a gap also down there that is quite a wide gap so that we can get this wall here painted and the same here, this wall painted um, in this colour. I could only do a tester patch as the weather has been awful the last couple of weeks. So hopefully in the next week or two the weather will brighten up and I can finish cleaning and painting these walls along here. The steps I'm going to leave like this with all the moss growing on it as I quite like the idea of leaving that so that when I do the third section of the garden up here in a rockery with paths and some beautiful flowers and that it sort of is quite mossy and natural going into that third part of the garden and then like I said this wall will be the creamy yellow as well going along here and we may put some pretty stones down that gap there and then if I bring you around here on this back wall here we are going to have some wood trellis or fencing going along so here is the new greenhouse I will take you in it's a six by eight and this is the workstation I've just bought for it and there's some of my pots up there already it's got little hooks to hang bits up now I am as this is solid metal but these bits are wood so I'm going to go and buy some preserver to go on this just to protect it um, a bit more obviously it will last through the summer fine but I think come the winter again it will start going quite horrible so we're going to protect it first of all and go and buy something to go on it and same with the bottom shelf there now I've only just washed all these pots out that's why some are down there on the floor I'm just waiting for them to dry and then they will all be going on this second part here that'll be where my pots all live and the soil and everything will be um, here but my main cacti and succulent mix will be mixed up and put into this um, bucket well dustbin here but again I'm waiting for that to dry out because I've just cleaned it already and then I will do my mix up and like I said the other bags of compost soil and everything will sit on here then afterwards that's some stones which I've just left in there washed and left in there and then these are my dressing pot dressing stones as well there all my labels they'll probably go in a pot eventually these were down to I think something ridiculous like 25p a packet that's why I have so many they were like three I think three or four pound originally and then they came up at the till just of oh, 33p I think actually sorry not 25p 33p a ridiculous price you get the marker pen and then 25 labels and so yeah I grabbed all that was left in the shop when they had reduced them so yeah that is all that's in here so far there will be shelving units one starting down here then another shelving unit and so on two or three whichever I can fit each side to bring all my cactus and succulents outside once the weather starts getting a little bit better. So there we go, that's all for now. I'll keep you updated as I bring the cactus and succulents out here and I get the new shelving units. And just quickly before I go, I will show you that, you know, we only moved in here 11 months ago. So the garden last summer just stayed a mess because we were more worried about getting the house sorted and us settled. As you can see, the walls are disgusting. Again, these will be washed down and painted in that yellowy cream. And again, the same this side and this shed is going. And we have got somebody coming to deck all of this for us. So this will all be nice wood decking in the next month, next four weeks, we're hoping to get it done. So once the wall's painted and the decking's down, it should actually be a massive difference just to this bottom end. So, Thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated with the garden and we'll speak to you soon. Bye.